last of process viewers and here we are again at the gadget show and this is Shaz from Honey Tribe Studios. That is correct. Hello. Hello. And this is your new game which is BFF or Die. Yep. So it's a, a multiplayer game. It's for two to four people at the moment and the, it's called BFF or Die. So as you can imagine it's a co-op game and the idea is you either help each other or you die. That's the two options you have. Yes. Now, me and Mike, who's lurking behind the camera, have had a play already, and this is definitely different. It's a fun different, don't get me wrong there, it's fun different, but it's definitely different to anything else we've played so far here, or anywhere else for that matter. Well, I take that as a, as a really big compliment, because I'm oh, yeah. guessing you've played a lot of games over the years? We've played a lot of games over the years. So if you think it, it feels different than other games, I think that's a good thing, because why would you want to make something that's already been made before? Well, indeed. Um, now this game will support, well, initially you need two people to play it. Well, you yeah. can play it single player. I mean, you, you kind of can play on your own at the moment, because yeah. we'll show you, you, you yeah. can just Jazz can do single player, yeah, believe well. me. <laughs> this is a testament to the man's skill. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's go for it. Okay, so, I'm going to have one player on this side, one player on this side. Yes. So you could share controllers, or you could have separate controllers. Yes, you can share controllers. Okay, well, should we start from level one, or should we go to a more advanced level? Um. Go to the advanced level, because okay. a level we will be able to reach. Okay, let's say, <laughs> let's put you on, okay, uh, level five, not too advanced. Now we see the two characters, there's the blue and the green alien. So we're in public alpha at the moment, we're at version 0 0.2, anyone can download it. So you can see we've got all the, our gameplay in, uh, but not everything's finished, so you'll see there's no animation for the moment. So the whole... It, uh, room is dark, so I'm going to have this green person, or green alien in fact, go into the yeah. maze. For the benefit of the viewers, that machine at the bottom has got there three doors at this point in time. Yep. And each door does a different function on the machine. That's right, so as you go through the levels you're going to unlock different abilities and you'll be able to switch between which ability you want to use. And if it was three or four player, you might have two people in that machine and one person in the maze, or three people in the machine and one person in the maze. Mm -hmm. So. I have to get these energy orbs because we're trying to we're trying to fuel up our space machine so we can get home to our own time and space. Uh, Those little mummy things are mummy things, and they will kill you. They will. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a decoy in here. So that's the blue player doing this, and the green player is going to help me out. So I'm going to let them out, and they are going to chase me. So my green player is going to save my life, and he's going to hypnotize them with his zap ray, and he's hypnotized them so they head towards the decoy. I'm going to do that again, and temporarily they walk over, and that means I'm safe to go round. Then to finish the level, I'm going to need to high five. So green and blue are going to run to each other in slow motion and uh, save each and other. High five. And I noticed that the sort of hand alien graphic symbol is uh, sort of look for tessellates. They fit together. Yeah. So, like I said, we haven't completely finished all the graphics and stuff, but um, they're puzzle pieces of a time portal dimension so what it's going to be is they're going to fuse and they're going to make a big time portal and you'll be sucked into it uh, right. but we haven't you know we're gradually going through putting all those nice effects in uh, so we'll see on this next level we've got we've got mummies that come out from the sides of the wall they've just come out to chase me and i'm about to get killed so you can imagine when it's two player as you you two both experience there's a nice tension because for example blue player needs green to save his life it's like it's like being on the back of a on the back of a motorcycle when someone else is driving. If you've ever done that, it's like they're in charge of your life. So there's this there's this kind of ten tension that's uh, that adds to a, oh, makes yes. a really fun. Oh yeah, you do have to talk to each other while playing this. You can't run off by yourself and try and do it because well, you can't. Exactly, and if you try to do that, you'll basically lose and die. Uh, where is that other thing? I am playing with two characters and talking at the same time. If I yeah. if I'm fumbling slightly every yes. now and then. He's playing both characters simultaneously in one pad whilst he's being interviewed. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, I've played this at least three trillion times at this point because we test a lot and then we bring it to events and we test a lot there. So we've been developing for about a year now. Uh, right. There's three of us. We're working on it part time at the moment. So you call it equivalent of six months full time. All right, now there's ghosts and they're going to go through walls. So. Right, you're giving the game away there. So I'm going to put this here. There's ghosts and they do go through walls. Now that's a dead we end. We found out the hard way. <laughs> yeah, it's what... Because I, I used to tell people at the start, um, ghosts can go through walls, but actually it's more fun when you say, 
um, oh look a ghost and then they figure out oh ghosts can go through walls and it's nice to have those surprise moments so yes this is what's helpful by taking it to events and doing a lot of testing and I can see the different responses you get from yeah. simple things like changing a bit of text uh, so it's really nice okay he's out the way it's yeah. really nice to have those surprise moments now from the narrative point of view you are playing a single coloured huge alien trying to get the crystals to go back home yeah now, do you stay in this, the one single time period or are you going to have different ones? So, yeah, so we have this story planned out uh, and we're going to tell it gradually through the story. So when people have established, okay, we like this game, we like the mechanics, it's fun, then we're gradually going to start dropping it in the story and you're going to go through different time periods. So it starts off in ancient Egypt and you're going to go over to uh, medieval and we're going to have vampires and stuff and then we're going to go into modern day London and you're going to get chased around by like, managers and financial consultants and things like that and then it's going to go through to future Earth and then the story will be gradually unfold as you go along and we'll explain why this is happening Right And you can see as you go along you're asking a question about three players and four players Yeah If you take a look at the screen now uh, So this is, you've already played this You get a grabber So one of the players is in a grabber the other is in a maze and then you can pick each other up or you can go along and you can pick up these mummies you were quite sure to figure out you could do that <laughs> yeah yeah you yeah. giving the mechanic away there <laughs> well you know <laughs> you got you, I, I got to show it yeah and then but it's tied to everything is tied to an energy so, so you can see that blue ring is going down yeah so you can't do everything infinitely which is which makes sure that you've got to do things rationally and and, uh, and logically in sensible order yeah exactly um so let's skip forward to another level and let's go to if I'm going to the correct level is it this one I think it's this one yeah so we got a teleporter on this level I don't think you saw that actually yet did you no okay so I'll show you how it works uh, so there you go I drop an entrance I drop an exit and then my friend can teleport between them right and then I'll show you another new thing on this level that you didn't see is if I tap on this step on this temporary looking button it's going to reconfigure the maze in real time and that's a day <laughs> in what way uh, well it could be either way I can tell it fence you away from the actual bad guys and then the bad guys have just stepped on something and let's see the point is it you have to change your tactics I quite oh shit Okay. <laughs> I, quite, I quite I'm talking at the same time come on I quite like it's your case. <laughs> I quite like throwing like uh, I'm going to let him die on purpose just so I can talk to you but you, at some point you think oh yeah I've done this level great and then this surprise happening. oh shit what do we do so it's it's nice that you have to change your tactics in real time and you you can't you know you have to think about what you're doing and you have to think on your feet and it adds to a really nice kind of it adds to a really nice gameplay feel of you feel kind of like on edge but in an exciting way all right well thank you Shaz and that was BFF or Die go and get it online you can go to BFF or Die either on YouTube or stick it into Google or whatever search engine use and you can download the demo and play it yourself yeah. honeytribestudios.com honeytribes <laughs> yeah thank you for reminding me <laughs> it's all right and thank you <laughs> cheers Well, I grew up with a Super Nintendo, so it's not even a question. <laughs> good man. <laughs> the thing is, it's, really it's whatever you grew up with, right? You know, there's no, it's no good or bad. It's whatever your fond associations are linked to. That is true. But Super Nintendo's better. It is better. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had better graphics, had better sound, it had a better control pad. And it had, had better RPGs. And it had Mario. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah. true. I'm, I can't say I'm a huge Mario fan. I did like it as a kid, <laughs> but I was into the Secret of Mana, the Zelda. The... Oh, you had to import that, didn't you? I, I did actually have an American Super, uh, Secret of Mana. Yeah, yeah. And I had the you had the two. You put an, a UK one on the back and a yeah. yeah.